Amigos, welcome back to our channel Atrocities Upon City where today you'll be seeing how to remove rocks and the things that it takes to make sure that it looks great. You'll be seeing us repairing for decomposed granite but today's video is just going to be on simply removing the rocks and what we do out here so you can see already the areas that we're going to leave right there. I had scratched off a previous border or a border that we're going to add to make sure that it looks great and different areas that we take care of over here fellas you can see what it takes out here i'm gonna go ahead and walk what it all the way around we're gonna be moving all that rock from the right side all the way to around the planter right here to make it twice as deep and you'll be seeing the things that i do you guys all remember this is where we did sod a couple weeks ago so we're back the owner said you guys did great so we want you to keep working we always try to get businesses work so here we are back and i'll give you a quick peek at what the grass looks like let's do it so there you go nice and green fellas everything went great a couple areas where the drought or the heat stress or in that area actually looks like we messed up and another area that it looks like we messed up maybe we did a filling and over time it just came up on the mowing or anything like that you know i think i know what happened so we'll make sure that that piece that we took off you'll see we're gonna be adding um sod there so we go and continue on how to remove the rocks out here or how to renovate the other area and we'll remove the rocks from one side move them to this side you can see how i work the edges to make sure that the new rock settles right and that it looks level once it's all there we'll continue to go on to a hyperlapse Amigos, there you have it. You guys all know how I use the shovel to take out these pieces. It all came out in three huge pieces and a couple little pieces that also were just still part of sod. You guys all remember we piece areas towards the edge. So it was easy when it all came out. And then we're going to be adding the border to it and continue to working on how we do the rock. We're already progressing. We've moved a bunch of rocks. So let's see what it looks like. There it is, fellas. We took care of the right side. We moved all the rock. And this, since it's such a small area, we went ahead and moved all of the rock. Moved it into the other areas. And then we pushed back rock back and forth from between the fence and the pool area. And then we're going to bring in the new rock and throw it right on top. You know, we have a couple areas that look a little lumpy. But we'll use the hand tamper to make sure that everything looks back and flat when we're done so there you can see how the progression is happening fast paola is a great shovel person man she shovels great you can see how fast she was shoveling raking filling up both wheelbarrows at the same time you know i was out there getting all the areas ready for rock i'd come by wheelbarrow everything over and she just kept making little piles for future rock areas that we were going to fill up the wheelbarrows and push everything towards the middle guys you guys saw how i moved the rock towards the middle on both sides move all the edges around and that's the best way you can remove rock you know if it has paper underneath then go ahead and move the rock from the paper and then use the paper to keep making the pile you can see how beautiful all that rock turned out i already added water into it we don't wait for the dust to get you know for the first day to rain because it doesn't rain in california fellas so i can't wait for it to rain so the so they can see that the rock looks all nice i have to do it right away so the rock looks beautiful everything's making sense we're going to show you how the border it's not perfect yet but we're going to keep continuing on it tomorrow in different areas so that's simply what you do to remove rocks you know we're lucky that we didn't have to haul them away with us if not we'd put them in the trailer in the truck and take them to the dump let's go check out how the other areas are coming out there's going to be a trench right here to make sure that all the drainage from the pool doesn't go ahead and make our dg in the future have a water spot i can already see the water spot and the concrete so i know i told the owner hey you know what you must make some sort of french drain 
fill it up with rocks and boom it'll look nice so there you go this is going to be an area that we're going to be compacting most of the rock is gone we're going to go ahead and go to another video where we usually do irrigation work we have plenty of videos of irrigation but you can see the trench is gone here thank you for watching on how to remove rocks let's go see a couple irrigation videos and then our stator brothers which had a simple problem all right fellas there it is you know one of the valves is leaking and another valve on the other side had a back piece broken so i told him you know what i'm going to charge you to change one valve the broken piece we'll just put it into the other one and there you can see me adding a coupling two small pieces i always talk about how i make sure that the pieces are the same size so you can see the two pieces present themselves they rolled right in paola put passed them by even though she's uh, filming but there you have it fellas that's what you do it took me a little bit to open the glue you guys know it's a brand new one so since i'm tired from shoveling and picking i can't open it on a good day i'd open it on a bad day you got to use the pliers so simply this is what you do you put glue on both sides you connect it we're not going to show you what it looks like at the end we have many videos of irrigation but at least this shows that we were there and we actually kind of forgot to make an after you know sometimes we're so busy or we're so excited with the customers that they were happy to find everything working again that we forget to take an after video you know fellas so good things that we do out here we made some quick money we actually Actually brought the wrong part so at the end of the day when we make the mat and add it all up guess what we lose an hour of work because of the wrong part we went back and lost our pretty much we lost a profit we didn't make money we didn't lose money but we didn't make a profit and you guys got to make sure that you have everything you need the first time if you go back and forth in a job for irrigation every time you go back and forth every step you make is money guys so if you're taking too many steps for a job you're losing too much on the profit so let's go to one of our commercial accounts that had a problem with the plumbing and the water wasn't draining and i had to be a hero jump into the nastiness and pull all that stuff out so let's check it out fellas amigos there it is california hot weather 108 fellas and you know what happens out here it's clogged it smells nasty all the nastiness out here but we get paid to come out here three times a week so Thank you for watching our videos. Stay up on Stater Brothers and other things that we do. Continue to watch our videos so we can keep growing, get to a thousand subscribers, and just move on from there, fellas. So thanks to everyone. AUC, amigos.